Tesla have just revealed some new Cybertruck off-roading features. Some of these were seen in the Top Gear video test of the Cybertruck, showing the dual motor version with its two diff locks, but it goes beyond that with the new Cybertruck app. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Not many people own a Cybertruck, but Tesla does have more than 2 million reservations. And well, more people Google Cybertruck than any other car in history. So I assume that there's still a lot of people that want to know about this stuff. Tesla is rolling out a new suite of Cybertruck off-roading features right after it actually apparently has been working on improving Cybertruck's fast charging speeds. And they have actually shown a video over the weekend of the Cybertruck's new off-roading features. The new off-roading tools for the sum truck were shown in an exclusive video actually shared by Top Gear. These features include additional off-roading modes, access to pitch and angle settings, front and rear locking diffs. Um, the Cybertruck is now much better at off-roading. There's been a lot of videos saying Cybertruck's off-roading isn't that great. Um, in this new video, you, I was really surprised by just how good it was. Now, to be fair, the Rivian R1T uh, it was tested as well. It did really well too. The video shows a Cybertruck and a Rivian R1T in Johnson Valley, California, as they test out whether the Tesla's pickup can perform off-roading maneuvers, including some pretty challenging ones, actually. Both electric trucks are shown performing four off-roading tests. Those include rock crawling at a legitimate steep place. I mean, the, the video camera angle doesn't do the video justice. It's actually very steep incline. Apparently it's a 22% gradient with some pretty big rocks. That's pretty difficult to do. Now, some people said in the comments things like, I could do that in a, a, a Toyota Camry, or you know, you can do that in, in a 1980s um, four-wheel drive. It would have been better. That's not actually true, guys. I mean, realistically, I've done a bit of a little bit of four-wheel drive. I know a few people that are into it. The reality is here, what, what these vehicles did in the test, it was actually quite difficult. They did it very well. There was a whoops test, which is kind of driving fast over small bumps. And that looks, that's pretty full on actually on your, your new car suspension. There was a jump, a big jump where I think a lot of cars, if they'd gone over that big jump and you get a lot of air and then land, hit the ground really hard, some suspension would probably break in other, under that situation. And there's also a sand dune crawl. So you can see the Cybertruck's features really being tested, the, the dual diff locks being tested on the rock crawl more than anything else. These new off-roading features include four dedicated terrain modes, including all-purpose, rock, gravel, deep snow, and sand. And the software lets drivers, it's a little bit like um, the performance Teslas, the Model 3 performance and the Model S Plaid, the Model X Plaid. You can toggle between the locking differentials all on, only the rear on, or all off but also you can adjust torque to the front and the rear like you can with the performance vehicles. But having the ability to turn the locking diffs on at the front and the rear all on or all off or one on, one off, that's actually not a very common feature. There's very few cars here in Australia or very few pickups or very few um, you know, four wheel drives with that feature standard. That's something you've got to do. You've got to modify the vehicle yourself. Usually vehicles will have one diff lock, but have to have two and have the, that kind of adjustability over the diff locks is quite unusual. Now, there's been a few YouTube videos showing the Cybertrucks and people saying, oh, look, the Cybertruck's terrible off-road. Now, I would be wary. A lot of that's clickbait. A lot of that's people trying to get you clicking. Oh, look, this is this is crazy. Look at this terrible situation. Um, and, you know, things like the rust videos when they weren't, obviously, it wasn't actually the truck rusting. It was stuff being collected on the side of the truck. You can just wash that off. Anyhow, you may note that Tesla has actually going to continue to reveal uh, lots of new features for the Cybertruck. And that includes a new light bar, which is set above the Cybertruck's windshield. So that light bar apparently is going to be coming out soon as well. So are some other features that you'll be able to order when you purchase your Cybertruck. Um, Sawyer Merritt, who actually reported on this news um, and he said this, news, Tesla is about to release a new in-truck off-road application. Here's what it is, more off-road modes, including gravel, deep snow, activates front and rear diff locks, real-time pitch and roll angle, battery rear and front motor temperatures. So the battery rear and front motor temperatures, I think having the motor temperatures is probably gonna be important for when you're doing this kind of driving. 
um, so you get a good indicator of you know how hard the vehicle is working. This new release basically is going to come out pretty soon. So if you've got a Cybertruck or if you're going to buy one, if you're going to buy one in the future, you're going to already going to have this as standard. But if you've already got a Cybertruck, this new release should be coming to your vehicle via an over the air update soon. It's a pretty big deal actually because it really makes the Cybertruck a legitimate off road vehicle. When before it was, you know, not bad, but really not considered, it really wasn't considered that off roading was a Cybertruck strength. That, I believe, has just changed. Thanks for watching.